We're back. My name is Harrington Botko. With us, we have the chair and the president of the Costales Natural Farm. Let me tell you a little bit about this. Established in 2005, utilizing integrated organic farming systems for the production of high-value organic vegetables, culinary herbs, tilapia, and livestock. And as we mentioned in the la before the last break, a partnership with our uh, overseas foreign workers, or what we call our heroes. Here in this specific case, it's so true and so real that uh, they have actually not turned their back against us, but actually invested even in this organic farming, a joint venture uh, with OFWs. This program aimed to address the need for additional capital investments for the expansions that they required or the farm had experienced. The scheme provided the OFWs not just a way of promoting our organic farming, but also to increase, to maintain, and to sustain their wealth rather than losing it. Let's go to the coconuts. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Costales, being farm people and farmers and very held in that advocacy, is there any solution left? Because if we read about it, when we hear about it, nakikita natin sa television, yung mga mga insect mga insects no that have invaded yung mga coconuts natin and dami nating coconut the coconut yeah. industry is one of the bigger agri industries yeah. in the country right. and in Luzon not yet infested in Visayas Mindanao natatakot sila it mm. will migrate eh. yeah. pero here in Luzon we already suffer a substantial amount of coconuts dying are there solutions yes there is a solution meron meron po yan yeah and, uh, ah, yeah, nah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you know someone in agriculture and you've got problems, makinig po kayo, yes. Yeah, in fact, uh, our farm was also infected with that. So, uh, uh, ano ba yan? Insecto? Yeah, insecto ito, Harry, na kinakain niya yung uh, green coloring matter ng uh, leaves. No? Kaya so, pala mukhang parang yellow na. Right, o, sinisip-sip niya yun. So, itong uh, halaman, itong nyog, no? dahil sa nasisira yung kanyang... Uh, um, photosynthesis, mm, no? photosynthesis, hindi na siya makagawa ng pagkain, mamamatay na siya. Okay. Cannot breathe also, yes. hindi makagawa. Oh. Correct. So, uh, ang, uh, Where did these insects originate? Dito sa atin din yan, no? because of the imbalance of nature. Correct. Yeah, sa, so pagbintangan natin, Monsanto <laughs> na naman. But go ahead. Yeah. Dahil sa sobrang paggamit ng mga chemicals, namatay na yung uh, mga insekto na nagbabalance ito. No? Lumakas yung Lumakas, killers. Yes. yes. So, so, oh my uh, God. Uh, naging, uh, uh, in it's plagued most of Luzon na. No? Nakikita nyo naman, no? you've read the reports. Yeah. You've tried it in your farm yes. and it worked. Yeah, it really works. Yes. So maybe the other farms in Luzon can buy the product from you. Bili na lang yung solution sa inyo. Uh, actually, ito'y tinuturo lang namin kung paano gagawin. <laughs> yeah. Hindi mo binibenta oh, solution? Yung hindi namin ito no. binibenta. No? Kasi talaga namang, yan ang uh, yung nyog yung ating number one export, no? So, Correct. Uh, kailangan protektahan natin yung industry na yan. And you have a solution already. Yes. And yung solution nyo, it works. Na-stop nyo infestation. Na-stop yung infestation, yes. namunga ulit yung mga nyog. No? At uh, ito nga ay uh, uh, gusto kong uh, maipalaganap sana. No? Gamitin. Total, uh, hindi naman ito mahirap gawin. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, tinuturo nyo lang you're not asking for anything in yeah. return. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. So, may kausap na kaming mga, well, last, uh, two weeks ago, there, there are these guys uh, from uh, uh, Philippine Coconut Authority and Coco Fed Scholars. Coco Fed Scholars na nagpunta sa farm para tingnan kung ano yung ginawa namin sa mga nyog. And they were amazed, no? Nakita talaga nila na... All natural. Yeah. All natural. All natural. In fact, nagbigay pa kami ng samples sa kanila kung ano yung ini-spray namin. Uh -oh. yeah. So, they can just make it? Yes. Uh, and it's simple? Very simple. Very simple. Yeah. Very simple. Uh, are they applying so we can save the Luzon nyog? Yeah, uh, right now, the, the plan is uh, uh, mag-contain mag, uh, isang community, isang barangay alimbawa, na Parang quarantine nyog, muna. Quarantine muna, and then doon gawin yung, uh, in larger scale, yung ginawa namin sa farm uh, to control yung insect na yan. And we can stop all of this inbreeding of these insects? Yes, yes, we can. Because if, from what I understand from a lot of cocoa farmers, miskin mga nagbibenta ng bubuko, Ang, nagmahal na nga ang buko kasi... Yeah. Maapektuhan sila. Maapektuhan sila. Na the supply yun. is going down. And tsaka yung laman ng buko, palit ang palit na. Pakonti pa ng pakonti yung laman, tsaka yung laman loob. Yeah. Yung lambanog na yun, kukonti na lang ang mga produce nila. So, 
my God. Yeah. Talaga ang piktado yung industriya. But at least you found the solution and you don't have to import this. All the products of that solution, the formula is local. Yes. Local. All Very natural local. pa. All natural. Yes. Ba, no? Ibang klase. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they're maximizing in doing this because malala ang infestation. Yeah. You know, just like that. Kailangan na ito, concerted effort, no? lahat ng manyog, mm. gawin natin tulong, itong tulong. Uh, uh, nasubukan naming uh, technology na ito para ma-address itong problema sa CSI or coconut scale insect. Your products, your produce are not the same as typical farms in Luzon. Yes. Ibang klase, kasi may incline yung inyo eh, lugar. How about the rice, rice fields, the sugar fields, the maize fields? Can they learn more from you? Can they turn organic too? Oh, yes. Kaya ba? Yes. Kaya yun. Kaya yun, Harry. Kasi hindi lang naman para sa mga high-value vegetables na organic. Pwede rin yan sa rice, sa corn. In fact, we have a lot of organic rice right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, uh, How do you do organic rice? Kasi di ba, I remember maybe mga 20 years ago, there was a cricket swarm sa Papanga, di ba? Pinasukan ng mga crickets, yung mga malalaki. Kinain lahat ng mga yeah. vegetation. Yeah. Yeah. You mean we can actually fix up our rice yeah. and, and turn it organic. Kasi nabibenta yan. Ma mas maganda nga yan. Mas, ma mas mataas ang yield. Yes. Mas mataas ang selling price. Tsaka so, may favor. Yung namimili sa palengke, gusto nila yan eh. Organic. Or, yes. Kaya nila gawin yan. Ang kailangan pagandahin natin ulit yung lupa na talaga naman dekada na ang nilagay natin yung mga chemical yan. No? Like uh, yung urea. No? Para asfalto na yung ating mga oh, palayan ngayon. No? Correct, correct. So, ang kailangan Mahal pa. Gawin. Mahal pa. Yes. Pag ito, uh, ginawa natin ulit pagandahin yung uh, struktura ng lupa para maging fertile. Okay? So, babalik yung dating ganda. Nung una naman, hindi naman uso yung mga chemicals na yan. Oh, bago dumating yeah. yung mga Amerikano bago, dito. Bago dumating yung uh, tinawag natin Green Revolution na yan. Oh, correct. Right, uh, Before that, wala. Wala, all yan. Yan. Oh, wala yan. Noon. Why isn't agriculture, the Department of Agriculture, not expanding, making everything organic? Or nahihirapan sila? Or baka may negosyo? Uh, Meron naman silang effort talaga. Meron namang effort. Ang, uh, ang uh, ginawa lang kasi ngayon is yung farmer ang binigyan nila ng option. Ikaw ba gusto mong organic? Sige, mag-organic ka. Ikaw Bakit ba ayaw nila mag-organic kung mas mataas? One, mas mataas ang benta, mas mataas ang demand. Mas maganda yung spread mo. Mas lilit ang cost mo. Correct? Yeah. Bakit? Why would they even choose uh, an option of, hindi, gusto ko mamili ng imported insect, uh, insecticides. Natatakot kasi yung ibang farmers, lalo na yung mga malalaking farmers, na bumaba yung kanilang yield. Of course, umpisa yan bababa. Bakit, uh, it will go yeah, down. It will go down. Bakit ganon? Kasi nga naman, kung bibiglain mo yung lupa mo, na hindi mo nalalagyan ng pagkain, when in fact, araw-araw binibigyan ng urea, mag, 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 ano yan, mag uh, maninibago yan. Uh, okay? So, slowly, habang inintroduce mo, hindi naman overnight na ganda ka so lupa. So, you revitalize the land. Yes. Bef when you turn agri uh, organic, yung lupa mo na inaayos mo. Correct. Yes. Hindi, yung, hindi yung produce yes. na lalabas. Yes. Yeah. Paliktad. Correct. So, may strategy yan. Hindi naman kailangan sampu hektarya ka agad. Let's start with one-fourth of your uh, property. For example, yung Pangasinan, yung Pampanga, Isabella, I see this. Ang lalaki ng mga farms, may mga yeah. flat land. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, that is full of urea already by now. Yes. yes. So, Nabubugbog yung lupa. Nabubugbog. Paasim ng paasim yun. So kahit anong buto malaglag doon, hindi tutubo hanggat di mo lalagyan ng chemicals. No? Nasanay, so, na. Nasanay, nasanay na. Nasanay na. At alam mo, padami ng padami dapat ang ilalagay mo doon. No? Oh my Kasi God. paasim ng paasim yung lupa. Kaya pataas ang pataas ang cost. Correct. Yes. Exactly. Uh, so if we did turn organic, we can actually improve the yield as well. Eventually, but yes, not right away. Not right away. So uh, uh, it takes two years, three years para... But we should do it? Yeah. Dapat agad-agad kung yung gawin na natin. We have the ASEAN integration coming. Ibig sabihin, the barriers of entry, you can export. With beautiful vegetables like this, you won't have a problem. Yes. So, ikaw, wala kang problema. Yes. I mean, your market is going to grow. Correct. Balik that. Because all over the ASEAN, uh, ang pinakamalakas mag-export dyan, Australia. Correct. Ngayon, lalabang ka, kakasa ka. Yes. Uh, there will be no taxes. Pero mga ibang farmers naman natin, hindi nila alam yan. I mean, who's gonna buy a poor product? Wala, di ba? Just because mura, hindi rin bibili niya eh. So, our farmers really have to learn how to, to upgrade it. Tama yung analysis mo, Ari. Kawawa yung hindi mag-adjust organic. Alam mo, hindi tayo makakalaban sa mga kapwa natin. Hindi kanya, no? Number one, subsidize sila. No? 
Correct. When, when I government. Yeah, when I went to Sri Lanka last month, 80% subsidized ng government yung kanilang... Paano lalabanan yan? Paano natin lalabanan? Papasok dito ang kanilang project. Tapos ang labor cost nila, iba, diktatorial pa. Yes. Yung wala silang choice. Correct. Wow. Yes. Talagang mabubugbog sila. Mabubugbog talaga. Kawawa talaga. Kapag hindi tayo nag-convert uh, nag, uh, sa organic. Dito Where do you see the country in five years, ten years? Now you've seen it. You're in food production. You're seeing the growth. You're seeing that the land is rich at kaya. We are given the natural resource. Binigyan pala tayo ng Diyos na magandang lupa. Correct. Ang problema, hindi lang maganda ang pag-aayos ng paggagawa ng agrikultura. Where do you see the country in five, ten years pagdating dyan? Ang nakita ko dito is lahat tayo magmumub sa organic agriculture. No Wala choice. tayong choice. Uh, yes. Talagang yan ang magiging mainstream. No choice. Yes. This is going to be the new norm. And right, right. now, you're only 2%. Yes. And you're going to grow it to 5 And hopefully, Department of Agriculture will also bring it up, right. increase it. Yes. You were mentioning your web page, uh, Ma'am Josie, to the cameramen here because they're all interested. Paano makuha yung solution ng Nyog, for yeah. example. Uh, ano yung web page nyo? It's uh, www.costalesnaturefarms.com. So, Costales Nature Farm. Or pag hindi mo alam, basta i-google mo lang Costales. Yes. yes. Kasi kayo ilalabas doon. Pag dito, Costales Farm, Costales Nature yes. Farm. When you type organic agriculture, lalabas Ag na. Organic agriculture, lalabas na. So, yes. the formula is there and you don't have to pay for it. Yes. No need to pay for it. And tsaka meron kayo iba, iba pang mga information yes. lumalabas doon that you're sharing. Yes. And uh, sa mga lahat ng gustong uh, magkaroon ng detalye tungkol dito, pwede nila kami i-text. Puntahan. I-text kayo, puntahan kayo. email yeah. How, what's your email address? Yeah, my Can email address is ronald underscore costales2004 at yahoo.com. May webpage kayo. Ando doon din pangalan niya sa webpage, of yes. course. Ando doon din yung email Nandun address. Nando din yung contact informations. You so also webpage. understand you also have Farm tourism, yun na lang hindi ko pa na, ano, please explain farm tourism. Bago oh, yeah, yan, yeah. bagong concept yan. <laughs> you know, uh, agritourism or farm tourism, ito yung uh, bagong concept, tama ka, dito sa Pilipinas. Bagong bago, ako no, hindi bago eh, sige, sige. In other Alam ko, dental tourism, medical yeah. tourism, farm tourism, yeah. iba ito, sige nga. Uh, these are, we offer uh, activities, agricultural uh, related activities sa mga tourist, local and foreign. So, sa farm namin, kapag nagpunta sila doon, meron sila experience na mararanasan kagaya ng pamimingwit, mm -mm -mm. pagpipitas ng gulay, oh my God. Yeah, pag may milk ng uh, kambing. Pinakikita nyo? Yes. Tinuturo nyo? Gagawin nila talaga yun. Gagawin nila. Yeah. So itong mga, mga ito, is hindi matututunan sa mga malls. No? So yung mga bata, nag-enjoy magpitas ng kamatis. Yes. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. So yun ang uh, tinatawag na agritourism. So, And you can eat it there in your farm. May restaurant yes. din kayo May restaurant doon. na kami doon. May restaurant din. Pwede nilang gawin yung kanilang sariling salad. Kung meron sila sariling formulation, pipitas ng salad. And then sila yung gagawa ng kanilang salad. Ang galing. Eh. Right. Where is this restaurant? In, the, in your farm? Inside, Inside the, farm. the farm. So just go, just go to the web page yeah. and you'll find. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a last message, a one-minute message to our viewers, uh, Ronald. What would be your message? Yeah, uh, I'd like to encourage uh, all farmers na mag-engage sa organic agriculture. In fact, kahit yung mga hindi farmers, okay, like yung mga businessmen, okay, kasi kailangan natin ang utak ng mga businessmen dito. You know, kapag gusto natin mag-excel sa agriculture, kailangan haluan natin ng business. Okay, so, uh, napakaganda. Uh, very promising. It's a uh, sunrise industry in the Philippines right now. At mas maganda kung haluan natin ng agritourism. Galing yes. na. Sinda ka ba? <laughs> Josie, short message. Ikaw. Uh, let's bring the kids back to basic and introduce to them what a healthy life we have. That I like very much. <laughs> Kasi na, masyado nang papadpad yung mga bata sa internet at internet yes, games. Yes. Eh, no? Exactly. Para ito, balik natin na uh, real hand I mean, you know, produce. Yes. Grow with your fingers. Yes, yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. and Ms. Costales. Um, what a wonderful thing to have you. And I think my introduction was perfect. Once, every once in a while, we are lucky here in GNN to get the good news. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed that program. I know I didn't complain. I didn't scream about politicians. I didn't bring up the issue about the matuid na daana naman. But, you know, once in a while, we have to turn sober again and actually recognize. We have the most outstanding professional award that's given to Ronald Costales, and of course his family who has been there to back him up, to make him who he is and how he, he enjoys his successes today. 
Tama nga naman, it's not necessarily just money that makes us happy. It's not just the awards that we collect and all the accolades behind us we put on the wall and say, hey, this is how good we are. But it's the ability to share. Now, if you have that heart and you have that advocacy, just maybe you would be in the same position as the Pascala says. And if you don't, don't you think it's about time to start sharing? Maraming salamat po. I hope you've enjoyed our program. Thank you very much, Ronald. Thank you, Josie.